Hello, my people. Namaste and good day, good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be across this wonderful and beautiful globe. Hey, my people. <laughs> this is your girl, Destiny. And hi to all my subscribers. Mwah! Love, peace, blessings, and light to you guys. Oh, you guys are super amazing. And I just want to say that to encourage you, to inspire you, and to motivate you. I got to tell you guys, you are out there working, doing the things that you are so passionate about, the things that you believe in, your gifts and your talents are being showcased. I'm telling you guys, you are doing a super, super fantastic job. And I am so proud of you guys. You are putting out so much good content. And you're sharing so many interesting and helpful things that can help each individual to learn a new information of knowledge, to gain more wisdom and enlightenment. I am proud of everything that we all are out there creating on our YouTube channels. My people, I love you guys and I just want to say thank you. Now, if this is the first time that you ever come to my YouTube channel page, I'm going to invite you all and give you this personal invitation to come on in. I am Destiny. Destiny and Destiny Forever Walks is my YouTube channel. I invite you in to come in and sit with me and just watch my videos. I do a lot of teaching on spirituality, your higher, greater consciousness self. I do a lot of teaching on becoming your best version. I do a lot of different videos, a lot of health and nutrition videos. To learn more about me, then you check out my About page. Then you can get to know Destiny so much more personal, okay? So guys, everybody come into the room. Now yesterday I did a video and the video posed the question, where is your consciousness? And I got a lot of comments on that video and I did get people to answer the question and I'm gonna give a round of applause to everyone who did answer the question, where is your consciousness? I got feedback and that is super amazing. Guys, you don't know how excited I am when you communicate with me, when we are talking to one another, when we are sharing things and that costs growth and enlightenment and it just give us that communication which is going two ways instead of one. Thank you guys for those who are answering that question and for those who have answered other questions that I have posed out there on my YouTube messages. Well, you know, um, when you're talking about consciousness, I'm going to spell the word consciousness. C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S N-E-S-S. -S. That's consciousness. Or conscious, which is C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. -S. Now, a lot of times when people hear the word conscious or consciousness, they confuse it with the word conscience. Conscience, okay? Let me spell conscience. C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Conscious and consciousness or conscious is two different things my people and i just want to do a little verification to clear up the definition or the difference between the two so the message today is know the difference between conscience and consciousness okay conscience and your consciousness so how does the conscious different from the conscience. Think on that. How does the conscious, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S, different from the conscience, C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Now, I'm spelling it, I'm going very slow because I want all of us to really understand those two words, they are, they are pronounced so much alike but they have totally two different meanings, my people. 
these two terms are sometimes confused in our everyday uses. When we go around, we're speaking about conscious, we are saying one thing about conscious, then we are more on the level of conscience. And it becomes kind of confusing, or confusing I mean to many people. But we use it and sometimes, like I said, we do become confused in our everyday of using those two words. But they actually, my people, they mean very different things within the field of psychology. And I know if you are maybe a psychology major, you've studied psychology, I'm sure we all had some kind of psychology during our school time. And for many, it may have been many, many years ago. But that's why it's always good to go back and pick up books and still study and learn. So today, let's take a look at what each of these terms really mean. And then how do you or how can you distinguish between the two concepts, okay? Now listen to this. I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of spelling because I don't want you to get confused. Your conscience, C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. That is the part of your personality, people, that helps you to determine between right and wrong. And it makes what you feel sometimes that guilty feeling or when you're doing something bad or even good or it even can be when you're doing something kind. Your conscience, that's the part of your personality that helps you to determine between whether it's good, bad, right or wrong. It is what makes your what, well, it is really what makes you feel guilty sometimes when you're doing certain things. Now, on the other side of that, my people, conscious, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. -S -S. Now, on that side of the coin, conscious, it is your awareness. It's the awareness of yourself and the world that is around you. And you see, I had to come out here into nature to talk about uh, topics like this. Out here, I mean, this beautiful world out here. We are conscious. Conscious means we are aware. We are self-aware of our surroundings within the world that we're in. So when people, in the most general terms, conscious, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S, it means, my guys, being awakened. I know you've heard of spiritual awakening. That is, is what that means. Becoming awakened from out of sleep and becoming consciously aware of your surrounding, of who you are, of who the creator God, the universe is. That's your conscious state of being now. That's what that means. Now listen, in psychology though, the conscious mind it includes everything, my people, inside of your awareness, including things like your perceptions and your sensations, even your feelings and your thoughts. Also, it includes your memories and your fantasies. That is conscious. That is a conscious mind. C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. Now, while conscience and conscious are two very different things, people, conscious and consciousness are in fact related to one another. But we just gotta make sure that we're understanding how the term is being used. And I just gave you the definition of each of those words and how they are used in the term or form of describing or doing what you are saying that you are doing. So you can go back and replay that. Your consciousness refers to your conscious experiences. It refers to your individual awareness of your own internal thoughts and your feelings as well as your memories and your sensations. That's your consciousness. Also, consciousness is often thought of as a stream 
it's like a water stream that's flowing. It's a stream. Constantly, my people, shifting according to the ebb and the flow of your thoughts and the flow of your experiences of the world that is around you. You are experiencing because that's now becoming a reality because you are experiencing these things. And I keep telling you, only your experiences are real. They are your true reality because that is something that you really had hands on experience with that you have really touched, failed, you lived through, you went through it, you <laughs> did everything with it. That is an experience that you receive from your conscious mind. So you can have that reality of experience now and you can share that as a story or a testimony because it was a true reality to you. So my people, let me say this and I'm, and I'm out of here. You have to learn how to choose your words correctly when speaking on these two words. Conscious, C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, or the word conscious, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. -S -S. You have to learn to know and define the correct way that these two words are to be used in our sentences, that we're describing something or we're talking on something. But listen to this, both words have to do with the mind. Both words, they have to do with the mind. And that may kind of, kind of be kind of confusing, but it's some more, but no, listen, I'm gonna say it again. Both words have to do with the mind. But it's more important, my people, to be conscious. It's more important, my people, to be awake. It's, my, it's more important, my people, to be aware of the things in the world that is around you because it's going to bring you into your greater and higher self. That's your conscious. That's your self-awareness. That's who you are. Because you are awakened. So, it is more important to be conscious or awake than being conscious. C O N S C I E N C E. Because a conscious is only being aware of right or wrong. Ain't no great threads in between. It's either you're right or wrong. That's conscience. Some of people remain conscious while listening to your friend's moral dilemma. So you can use your conscience to give good advice. And that's why I said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the creator God of the universe is saying to you. He's speaking to you. He's consciously speaking to your spirit. So you have to allow your conscience your conscious to open up to the divine creative so you can become aware. The Bible also says that we have to wake up out of our sleep. Waking up out of our sleep, my people, is totally becoming conscious. C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S and not conscience. Conscience is only being aware of you being right or something being right or wrong. So remain conscious while listening to your friend's moral dilemma. So you can use your conscience to give good advice to that friend. Using the word conscience, as they always say, people always hear say, let your conscience be your guide. Let your conscience be your guide. That means let your conscience lead you into the right path, into the right choices, or your conscience could be leading you into the wrong, your wrong place. That's conscience, that's the C-O-N. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. So my people, I hope you got something from that. I just want you to know the difference between those two words, conscience and consciousness or conscience. So my people, if you have any input or anything that you want to add to that, drop your comments below in the comment section and Destiny will be so happy to hear from you and to read everything that you have to say because I'm learning from you guys things that you're saying and speaking, I listen. I go out there and I take my time and I hear it. 
and I look at it. I study it. I meditate upon it. And a lot of times I get good feedback and some good information and knowledge. And the Creator will always allow my gut intuition to bring me to my conscious C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. My conscious state of mind. My higher conscious place of being. So I'm out of here, guys. I just wanted to drop that on you right quick and give you just a few little bit of understanding or more deeper meaning of those two words. I'm going to see you at next video, whether it be at your house of minds. So Destiny is here. She's going away to get more information to bring your way. I will see you at the next video. I'll see you at the next video, people, when they say your house or mine. Namaste. Love you guys. I love you.